All right, my name is Aaliyah Gilman, and this is Carpentry. I am a second year in Carpentry, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to lay out a common rafter. Now, you need three parts. You need your unit rise, your span, and your unit run. Now, your unit rise is already found for you on a Carpenter square, which for this case, we're doing a 412. So you go to the four, and it is 12.65. And then your total span, in this case, is going to be four feet. So then you, your span to find your unit run, you divide that by two, which is going to give you two feet. So then you take the unit rise, multiply it by the unit run. So two times 12.65 gives you 25.3, which will turn to 25 and 5 sixteenths inches. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going to allow for, I'm making my plumb cut. so. This is the cut that is going to be plumb to your ridge board. So you're going to go to the four on your common and then mark your line. And then from there, you're going to measure from the bottom point to 25 and 15 sixteenths. And then whatever you measure on, so whatever plane, you also have to measure on the same plane all the way down the board. So again, go to your four, make sure your line is going through that point you made, and then there's that. Now you have a one foot overhang, and then, so one foot, so your unit rise is composed of 12 inches. So whatever your unit rise is, that's gonna be how much you'll measure over for your overhang. So that is again 12.65, which turns to 12 and 10 sixteenths. So then you're gonna measure from the bottom plane and go to 10 sixteenths. Once again, measuring from the same side, going to your four, seeing as how this is a 412 slope, and marking your line. Now you have plumb cut from outside wall to outside wall, from your outside wall to your overhang. You have, you're gonna allow for your ridge board. So you're gonna go over three fourths and then do the same thing, 412. And then you're going to make a bird's mouth, which allows for your wall and your roof rafter to sit plumb and flush with your wall. So in this case, we're doing a two by four wall. So you're gonna go, you're gonna measure and make sure that this is even with your line and go to three and a half and then make your line. And there's your bird's mouth. And that is how you lay out a common rafter.